This new Illustrator feature will cut down your illustration and logo design time in half. It's called Turntable, and they showed it at Adobe Max last year, finally on the Illustrator Beta. So if you don't have Illustrator Beta, go to CC Cloud and go download that. Um, if you don't know how to download that, you just go to apps and go to beta and then install that. Basically what you want to do is you want to go to window and go to properties. So I'm going to open my properties uh, window here. And it has to be a group or so you can have text and vector or just vector only. So I've got this vector in a group. If I click on it and go to the properties, you'll see this little icon here says turntable with the two stars. You want to click that and it might say oh, the subject might be too simple or too detailed. So try and do it on logos that don't have too many shapes and vectors going on because it might lag great so once it's done loading it may take 30 seconds it may take a couple minutes but you'll get this pop-up bar this contextual bar and so what i can do is i can drag it to the left and you can see now it's created the back of the helmet which is super cool but you can see how it's not perfect like it won't do it didn't do some of these shapes in the flag and the shapes and the feathers uh on the wings it doesn't look 100 percent. but i think it's still pretty cool to work with it and then edit it now if i go the other way you can see we got a different version of that and then maybe you want a like this is pretty cool like a this side view and then i'll go in here and then like maybe clean up the shapes you know maybe delete some shapes whatever i want i can always come in here and if i select it again um if you do make changes it's okay you can click on turntable again and because it recognizes that shape as that like, you've already used the turntable you can go back and edit it so then i can just go back click turntable again and the bar will come out and then i can do this now a cool thing is you got these two arrows if i click the down arrow it's going to change on a 45 degree angle from the top view and now if I click the up arrow, it will go back to the center view, just standard. And then if I go up, it will go um, minus 45 degrees. So now it's from the bottom view and I can spin it, which is really cool. And then I can just duplicate it, holding Alt and Shift. I can go back to normal view and I can just like keep doing iterations. If I want to save multiple angles, this is great to create a whole logo suite. It's great for illustrative logos, uh, 3D style type logos, even like esports logos would work well. Um, but you can also use it on text as well. I did example here. I use it on this text here and you can see what it does to the text. It's live text, but you can't edit it. It won't let you. Um, even if you do edit it, it just doesn't work. So if I type something in here and uh, do the turntable, it just goes back to the original text as you can see. So I did test that out. Yeah, it works good. I, did it, I tested on one of my old logos I did for a client. You can see this one. I'm going to rotate it like this and it's like it's a wheel with a lightning bolt. I think it's pretty cool if you want to suss it out about a different angle. But I think it's really cool. Now what you can do is click the insert view button. Instead of copying you can do it like this way, insert view. And it just makes duplicates of of the logo as you can see. So it's a quick way to do iterations. I think it's super cool. And then if you want to reset the view, you can click this little uh, reverse arrow here. Click that or just go back to the original logo view that you had at the start and then you can flag it or up it whatever for feedback but i don't bother touching these tools but that's basically how you do it you can also click and move around but i think it's really cool you can play around with uh testing it on some of your logos just make sure things are grouped so then it gets all the little details here's another good example of a little of like a 3d retro uh illustration these type of logos it works perfect for for like characters play around with it i think it's great uh, i do have a class on Skillshare where I break down all my top favorite tools on Illustrator. So if you want to go a bit deeper, maybe you're a beginner, I'll put a link for one month free for new users in the description. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see another tool in Illustrator that I really love, check out this video here. It's really great for creating logos.